Hey guys, Jimmy here, and welcome back to a totally original video, definitely not on a stream. Today, we're going to see how fast the Ford Model T can lap the Nord Slifer. This thing has 20 horsepower or something like that, and I've got people telling me in chat that it's not going to get up the hill. We are not going to get up the hill, which is the back straight of the circuit, but I am feeling good, chat. Are you feeling good? Are you feeling fake hype chat? If not, get out. <laughs> Here we are then guys, coming up to the first or last corner on the Nord Sniper circuit. Ready to start a lap. Up to 50 kilometers an hour, hugging the apex over the start finish line. Here we are starting our lap now. Pull over to the right hand side of the circuit, nice and slowly. Then we're going to sweep in for T1, get as close to the kerb as possible. A little bit of oversteer there on the way in, getting up to a grand total of 80. Do I see 90 kilometers an hour? There it is. 90 Ks, 91 Ks going through hats and back now. Actually, I'm really tired of doing this. Can we just... This is so slow. This is so slow, lads. <laughs> Look at this technique. The car is actually strangely oversteering. I feel like if I get off the throttle at all, then the lap is just null and void. The car is making no noise. It just... All I can hear is like... What I assume is the insides just destroying themselves. No, it will get up the hill, man. We're going to get there. It's funny, because at like the one minute mark... Um, like the X2010 and the F1 cars are already past 7Ks. We're at 4 kilometers right now at 150, 146, you know. Actually going off the circuit doesn't make us any slower. <laughs> Reality has definitely hit hard. Please no Punterino Jimmer. Thank you Rollerblade Defender 2 saying, My round car is 20 brake horsepower and 45 mile per hour max. Well, this is the tuned special between 55 miles per hour. Look at, the, look at the lean our driver's putting in. 101! We're doing 60 miles per hour, lads! Oh no, a slight hill. My only weakness. Please, no, Antarino. Jimmer. God, that's loud, and I remember. Nick with the $5 saying, you can paint it any colour, as long as it's black. Me. Madness and hot pink. Please say somewhere in the world some fucking baller has painted a Ford Model T hot pink. I would ask that guy to be my adopted dad. I think it rides the curves well because it, I mean, there is no suspension. It just sort of goes, okay. This thing's like rear wheel drive, right? Is it traditional rear wheel drive? With like a, I mean, that looks like a diff in the middle. Oh shit! No, 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 dude! I don't know, I technique. I'm having to, I'm having to actually semi-concentrate. I'm nervous about the hill now, chat. You guys have mentioned the hill is not going to happen. I've actually got a break for this corner, chat. Shit. And we're back on the throttle again. Okay, braking's done. That's the braking done for the lap. We will find a way to get uphill. If it takes fucking all day, we will do it. We've had the power so far. And 20 horsepower would be enough to get you up a hill. 20 horsepower doesn't sound like much, but it will be enough to get you up that hill, surely. I'm saying that out of like, I'm trying to convince myself that we are going to get up the hill. Otherwise that would be just ultimate sad boys. It's 103 years old. Just like my ex-wife. Oh shit, don't crash. The chat knows. Chat's coming. Look at that. We're even accelerating. We're even accelerating up the hill. Oh no. Chat the hill. The hill's happening. Also, at this point, by the way, all of the cars within my hot and uh, my hot lap Nord Cyber Challenge have finished by a minute or so. Sweet! Merciful decline! Can we go up here? No, I'm not gonna do that. The Model T has 28 horsepower per tonne. Just like my ex-wife. <laughs> I don't even know what that means! What does that mean, chat? <laughs> Here's the mission. Okay, carousel. Watch this. 
Can I put a wang on this? No. Oh. Thank you, Andre, for four pounds. It says, fun fact, Monty could climb stairs, so hills couldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. We got this. Oh, shit. Another hill. Two CV next. No. Oh, my God. Come on. Yes, come on. Downhill. The Ford Model T allows the downhill specialist to really shine. Me, the rotary Randolph, the primary Randolph, respects the ability of Takumi in his Ford Model T. Oh shit, off road. Oh no. 17.30. You realise how long the fucking back straight is, right? Like, it's so long. When you're doing 9800 Ks, it's incredibly long. And you call hours of the morning. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad. You'd just lose by a lot. Because you'd still do 24 hours of racing. In a Ford Model T. Come on! Hey, my 25 minute prediction is going to be well out, I think. It's actually substantially faster than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like at 20 minutes by now. We're only at 13. Look at that, look at how it fucking handles the second carousel. Now back in the day it was customary for drivers to have a quick, you know, a little, um, little nightcap when driving. I wouldn't want to break that tradition. We did 100 kilometers now, we're going down to the compression. We won't do it now though, we keep getting the rubber into it. Should I actually like... Do this instead. So now we're at constant 83 instead of bouncing for limiter and taking a year and a half to get back to the speed. Oh no, the uphill! Please, no punterino, Jimmer. Thank you, Joe, for the fire, saying, I walk a lonely world, the only one that I have never known. That's my uh, EastEnders uh, character singing that. No! No! Speed up, you cunt! Can we go for the sub-16? I don't think we will. I mean, we don't have to break for the last two corners, but sub-16... Oh, it's going to be just shy of the sub-16, I think. It's going to be a 16-something. A sixteen oh five. Well, there you go, guys. That's how fast a Ford Model T can lap the Nord Slifer. Not very.